Hi everybody and welcome to this week's edition of Pen of the Week. This is a video series where I show a pen and an ink combination I'm excited about using for the next week. First we recap last week where I had the Lamy 2000 uh, with my medium nib uh, inked with Lamy Petrol. Uh, great ink, great pen, amazing pen uh, and uh, always a pen I love writing with. Um, not quite dry yet, um, but sort of heading towards that way. Um, so I'll continue to use that till it runs dry and then uh, don't want to waste any of this beautiful ink. Uh, and then um, I want to see about inking it up with a, uh, a couple of other inks that I've sort of got lying around that I think would be really nice in that pen. Maybe you'll see one of those in a future edition. Anyway, this week I'm using the Twisby Eco T with a medium nib and Robert Oster inks Australian sky blue now you know i love robert oster inks and this month i'm doing which is may i'm doing a robert oster uh month where every day on instagram i'm showing a different robert oster ink uh, and so uh, this was one of them but i just really loved it in this pen and there's so much ink in the pen because these two pens have such a great ink capacity uh that i thought what i'd do is i would um show the this as a combination so let's get started let's start with the pen so twisby eco t uh, is a variant on the eco model um where it's instead of being hexagonal or whatever the other one is this is um more sort of triangular in shape uh, and the grip uh, is a little bit more that way as well um so it's an interesting pen i have it with a um oh, i said it's still medium there it's not a medium at all it's actually an extra fine um which is one of my favorite extra fine nibs in my collection. Um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really lovely model of pen uh, and I like this sort of blue finish. I thought it matched also well with the ink. Um, so yeah, it's an affordable pen. You know, they retail in Australia for around the $50 mark. You can get them a little bit either way, depending on who you're buying from uh, and where you're buying from. If you're buying internationally, of course, you can get them a little bit cheaper from a few places, but this is the pen. Um, so affordable, it's also a piston filling pen and there are cheap piston filling pens on the market. You can get things like some of the wing sung pens and uh, that which you know can be three or four dollars each with a piston. Uh, but the piston in the Twisby pen is really s solid and really reliable. Also it comes with the tools to be able to maintain uh, the piston, so with a bit of um, silicon grease to be able to grease the, uh, grease the piston, but also you know the spanner to take it apart and all of those sorts of things. Um, but what the piston allows is for a big ink capacity, which is really great. And with an ink like this, in a fine nib, extra fine nib, you know, you're going to get a lot of bang for your buck writing with this pen. The other thing is, is the nib. Now, as I said, this is an extra fine. It's one of my favorite extra fine nibs in my collection. It is not super, super fine. Like I think some of the Japanese, like the Platinum Extra Fine is, is considerably finer than this um, but it is quite fine and, and uh, it means that you can write on just about any paper with it uh, and uh, yeah it's, it's just lovely I think there's a, a nice feedback on it yet it's quite smooth and it's not super wet but uh, you know you wouldn't want that from an extra fine nib anyway so now let's talk about the ink as you can see it's a beautiful bright vibrant blue Australian sky blue is such a great name for this ink um, but the vibrancy is really lovely uh, it's got gorgeous shading, as I'll show you here. Um, it's hard, sort of, sort of slightly hard to pick up with an extra fine nib. Uh, you know, it's such a light coloured ink, but there is some beautiful shading. You do pick up lovely sort of lighter blues, um, and then sort of not darker blues, but sort of more saturated blues. The other thing I love about these inks is that they are Australian made. You can see here on the top of the bottle, "Made in Australia." Um, Robert Oster is proud of his Australian, um, you know, sort of his Australian connection. He lives here in Australia. Um, and you know the bottles are environmentally friendly and all of those sorts of things good value but made in australia so i support australian brands and i very much support robert oster so let's do this writing sample now let's not let this video get too long uh we're continuing on from dracula by bram stoker and here is where we left off
So as you can see, it lays for an extra fine. It lays down a nice sort of smooth line, not the wettest uh, of of nibs. And there is, you can hear, sort of just a hint of feedback uh, on the nib. Uh, but you know, it does lay down a really lovely, considerate patch of ink. Uh, and as I said, not super wet. But a lovely pen to write with, and I think a lovely uh, combination of this pen and this ink, uh, and something that, uh, well, maybe not for sort of everyday professional sort of writing in, in the sense of, you know, sort of um, legal documents or whatever you might be working with, uh, but for just a little bit of writing here and there, note taking, you know, sort of everyday stuff, this is going to be a lovely little partnership, and with that ink capacity, it's going to last quite a while. I hope you found this video interesting and useful. If you did, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. Hit the notifications button if you want to stay up to date with the videos that I produce. Please feel free to get in touch using any of the platforms listed below. You can find me on Instagram or Twitter at the underscore offstage me, or you can find me, or you can comment on any of my videos here, or drop me an email. Everything's listed below. Uh, if you've got products you think I should be looking at, let me know. If you've got a way you'd like to support the channel, get in touch and let's see what we can do. In the meantime, enjoy your pens and your ink, and I'll talk to you later.